12 Futurecast. Good morning, everybody. A significant storm on the way. Not quite as big as a blizzard, but certainly some areas could get close to a foot of snow, if not exceed that level. Let's take you to what I'm tracking. We're going to talk some impacts here. First, we'll talk about the impact from snow, and the primary impact will be, obviously, that we're running out of room to put the snow, but the other impact will be on the road. So both the morning and evening commute will be difficult, especially tomorrow morning. Wind-wise, well, we're borderline in terms of causing power outages. I don't see widespread power outages with gusts between 30 and 45 miles an hour. Strongest gusts at the coast in Cape Cod. This will lead to some poor visibility, especially tomorrow morning when that snow is really coming down. And then there's the issue with sleet and freezing rain. That could lead to some slick roads, even down to the coast where we're not expecting quite as much snow. You get some rain, freezing rain or sleet on top of roads which are borderline freezing. And you can have some icy roads and that can be a hidden danger. Often we kind of focus on the snow and not the ice, but it's often the ice that can lead to more accidents. So that is also something we'll be tracking. A beautiful sunrise here in the capital city. Temperatures, they're cold again. Nine in Smithfield, four taunts and 12 in New Bedford and 18 in Newport. You factor in the wind chill and we're right around zero across the board. A little warmer in Newport with a wind chill of seven degrees. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 is picking up a little bit of clutter, but most of this will not reach the ground. The atmosphere pretty dry right now. In fact, we can take you into future cast mode. The first snowflakes start to fly later on this evening, probably after 9 p.m., 10 p.m. So you can see by around 1:30 in the morning, the snow starts to fill in. It'll come down heavy at times through the morning commute. This is 5 o'clock in the morning and then 7, 8 a.m. It's possible we get some very heavy bursts of snow. This is often the case right before that transition over to sleet where you get the heaviest snowfall rates. And then as we head into late morning, we're still snowing in northern Rhode Island, uh, Cumberland, even North Foster, sleet and rain at the coast. And then Providence, I do see us transitioning to some sleet, but the question is for how long? If we do it for several hours, we limit the snow accumulations of Providence. If it goes on um, not very long at all and we go right back to snow, then Providence sees the heavier snow accumulations. So that is still a very uncertain part of the forecast. I do see us going back to all snow snow by 4 or 5 p.m. Even though you're seeing the pink right here, you can think of the pink and the blue as snow in this future cast as colder temperatures will start to move in. 8 o'clock, still some lingering bands of snow, but the brunt of the accumulation is over with by that point. So when you add everything up, I'm thinking 8 to 12 inches for the capital city, 4 to 8 at the coast, around 3 to 6 in Block Island, 10 to 14 here in northern Rhode Island, places like Cumberland, even North Foster. I think you'll stay snow for most of the time, and there's certainly enough moisture to give 10 to 14 inches if you do stay all snow, which I think you will here in northern Rhode Island. So what could change with this forecast? Well, thanks for asking. If the models continue to trend a little further to the north, that's a slightly warmer solution that could push this four to eight inch line closer to Providence, if not across Providence. So that is something we'll be tracking online throughout the day. TJ is in tonight. We'll be online posting blog and video updates throughout the afternoon as this is a very tricky forecast. In fact, trickier than the blizzard forecast. Now, as we look at the satellite picture, you can see the core of the storm still off of your TV set. So most of the day will be quiet but cold. Temperatures only in the upper 20s this afternoon. By tonight, we're in the teens. And then watch what happens tomorrow around noontime. Notice how we're kind of borderline freezing everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised if even though the air temperatures try to go just above freezing, if because the roads are just so cold that they stay just below freezing. And that could create quite a problem, especially in South County, where we could have rain or sleet falling on top of surfaces which are borderline sub-freezing. So that is something we're really going to have to watch carefully tomorrow. Now, Tuesday, it's 16, sunny and cold, so unfortunately not a whole lot of melting going on this week. The sun will feel good at least after. At least we have that. Thank you for looking at the positive part of, of that forecast, Brian. I got your back, Pete. Yep. All right, your time now is 721. Still to come on Eyewitness News, we are tracking the measles outbreak as new numbers.